Hi there, thanks for joining me. I just wanted to do a quick little video talking about the satin stitch. This isn't really going to be a tutorial and I'm not going to have a stitch out. I just wanted to talk about the satin stitch in sew art. Um, sew art is really fun and it's really inexpensive and it really helps you get your feet on the ground whenever you're trying to figure out sew art and, or I mean digitizing and stuff like that. But because it's so inexpensive, it's not going to have all the bells and whistles of say something like Wilcom or, you know, something really um, intricate like Floriani or something. Or Yeah, I think they have their digitizing software. I think it was like $6,000 or somebody had some crazy expensive kind that requires updates all the time and stuff. And that's great for people who are doing it professionally. And you can definitely tell the difference between the designs that you can make in SOAR and the designs that are made in a professional setting. However, sew art is really awesome and you can use it for a lot of, um, you know, really simple projects. And some people use it for really intricate projects. It just depends on how much time you're willing to put into trying to figure out your design and, and get it to work, as well as how much time you're willing to educate yourself by watching videos, joining groups, um, I know that there's a Yahoo group. I've never been in it, but I know that there is one for Sew It Pro. The Sew Art group that we have, there's also a Sew Art group um, that's bigger and has, you know, more people in it who use Sew Art a lot. And so there's a lot of um, resources out there. So don't give up. But if you wanted Sew Art specifically to do satin stitch type of stuff, unfortunately right now is it's just kind of not happening that way. So what I wanted to do was just kind of give you a little show using the shapes from the program. Okay. Sorry about my dog. I'm changing the color only because I, I don't like the brown and blue together for some reason. <laughs> I'm sure it's perfectly acceptable colors, but for some reason I just didn't like it. Okay. So here's my heart that I created, right? And you want to be able to do if it's small, you want it to be able to have a satin fill, but we can't. It's just the, the program is not sophisticated enough yet to know when to stop and when to skip. So if we try to do a satin stitch in a big image or even a small image at this point, it's just going to do one stitch line across. And I hope that makes sense because that's what a satin stitch is. It's a really long, pretty stitches. And that's not going to work because there's nothing to hold it down and it's going to get snagged on everything and it's not going to look like the satin stitch that you wanted. <laughs> but we can access the satin stitch um, for the borders. So we're going to just go right into doing that, okay? This is already ready. It should only have three colors and it does. We're going to go right into stitch image. And I want to apologize for my dog in the background. She whines almost every time I start to create a video. So I just don't even know what to do anymore other than apologize to you guys. All right. So the fill stitches are all these really cool fills, but none of them are the satin stitch. And for the reasons that I told you, satin has to go far away to be pretty and full. And this program just isn't sophisticated enough to know that this is a big one and you can do it, or this is a small one and you can do it. It would be silly to try to do satin stitch on something this big. But even if you try to do it on something small right now, it won't do it. Okay, so we're going to just skip past the fill since there is no satin stitch. And what we're going to go into is the outlines. Outline border, outline center line, applique border, applique center line. So border is going to give you the border of this pink if you click into the pink. If you click into the blue, it's going to give you the border of both sides of the blue. Um, I'll click on it and show you. Five. All right. So whenever you come in here, your defaults are going to be more likely looking like this. And these defaults are garbage. <laughs> they aren't going to help you. Even with a running stitch, it's going to look terrible. So you have to choose from the drop down, and there's five different stitches. The blanket is just inside outside, and the satin stitch um, you can also use it as a, um, a zigzag stitch, okay? By just making the length longer. But we're going to choose the satin stitch. We're going to turn the height to 40, 
and the length to two, okay? You want your length to be small and your height to be big. And you can adjust that. Just, you know, look at it whenever it does its um, stitch out and see if it's too big. Make the height bigger. If it's too small, well, you know what I mean. If it's too big, make it smaller. If it's too small, make it bigger. Okay, so with these settings, though, we're just going to go into this. And I have the border clicked. That's going to give us a line along this part and along this part. And that's kind of a hard concept for a lot of people to get that that's what it means by border. So I'm going to show you. Maybe those settings are too big. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and maybe make it 10 so you can see it better. We're going to click right on here. Okay, so as you can see, it did a satin stitch on this side and a satin stitch on that side. That is the border. To create one satin stitch that follows this line, you have to follow center line. And now the applique sti stitch is going to follow this, the center of this line. So with this one, it'll, it should be fine and follow it pretty good. But if you have something that has like, oh, if you hand draw something and this border is a little wider in some spaces, it's just going to try to follow the center of that wideness. So I hope that that makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click 25 and 2. And we're going to choose outline center line. And now we have to change it again, 25 and 2. Now, if we were doing an applique, we would also choose the center line. Um, but whenever the applique gets stitched out, you're going to have three steps. It's not going to show it in sew art, but you will. You'll have your your tack down or your die line, your tack down, and then your final stitch. Okay. When you go to do a satin stitch, the best thing to do is try to find the flattest part so that the end can meet up with the beginning as best as possible on the flattest surface. So this is cute if you're doing it on a blanket or something like that. But if you're really want it to look really nice, you're going to have to go into Sew Art, Sew What Pro and edit things. Right here, you can see that there's a gap and a gap. So it doesn't make this go to an angle at the points of your design like you would want it to. And um, so when we view it in Sew What Pro, When we view it in Sew It Pro, it's going to show those parts gapped open. And that's one of the things that people don't like about Sew It Pro or Sew Art's satin stitch. Another thing is, see how it's all kind of lumpy because of the digitizing? You have to go in there and smooth out your lines. It's a lot of work to try to use the satin stitch very nicely in Sew Art. But it can be done. It's not the end of the world. And if this is all that you can afford right now, do your very best, you know, go take it into Sew It Pro if you have it and edit it and just enjoy having sewer and being able to create your own designs. If you're not too worried about the jiggity jaggedies and weird stuff like that, your satin stitch will be just fine too. Okay, so let's go ahead and save it. And then um, we'll open it in Sew It Pro. Okay, I don't need to save an image file. I'm going to save it on my desktop as Purple Heart. save and it's going to give us a little stitch out up there and because I didn't do a fill or anything like that it's just showing us this that's all that's going to come up I manually digitize it as well you can't do the satin stitch um I guess you can with the auto sew image I've never tried it try it out try all of this different stuff with the auto sew I do everything manually so I don't know how it's going to be um but with that being said let's go to sew what pro and let's open from our desktop. Dun, 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 da, da. Purple heart. Click open. And it looks nice enough for me. But I know that once it stitches out, this part's really going to bother me. That part's going to bother me. That part's going to bother me. So unless it's something like in fleece or, yeah, fleece or felt or some kind of furry thing that'll hide. The imperfections, I probably wouldn't want to do it like on a t-shirt. I don't think that it's that nice. However, I know with um, the help of a lot of really helpful people in this So Help Me group on Facebook, 
they'll show you, and there's tons of videos on YouTube too, to show you how to edit your stitches in Sew Up Pro to help you have a better satin stitch. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any other questions, um, you can always ask on YouTube. Sometimes it takes me a couple days to get back to those, but we are very active in our Facebook groups, both me and my husband, and we can help you there. Alrighty. And if we can't get to you fast, there's other people in the group that can, and that's really, really nice. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank you.